you know, I, I just want to, I, I just want to tell you, Dan, Dan is a great kid. You know, he is he's a very smart kid. Has a lot going for him. Was this person charged with obstruction of justice? No. Was he charged with witness tampering? No. Were there any consequences? I did report them to the school, and they ended up putting a some sort of disciplinary um, warning on their official record. Were they fraternity brothers? They were for um, Sigma Phi Epsilon. Did the fraternity have any reaction to this behavior? No. I, I know that one of the, the the young men on the phone call would go around and brag about it to people and say that he got Dan out of it and he was so smart, you know, the way that he did it. I would just feel sick to my stomach because I couldn't believe that they had done that so purposefully. Um, and it did derail the case. So how was the tape used? I received a phone call from the detective telling me that they were dropping charges because I had admitted that it was consensual. And I was baffled. He said, I played it over and over again. I heard you say consensual. I thought that they must have edited it in some way. They must have doctored it. I thought I would have never said that. And then he also told me that he had footage of me going into the apartment. And he said, your smile looked consensual. I said, what are you talking about? Do you have the video of me leaving? And he said, no, we don't have that. Did he give you advice? He said it was time to move on with my life and forget about it. Really? Which seemed impossible. It had only been, what, four or five days, and I felt like I was completely a different person.